Aloha again YouTube. This is Captain Strapped Arms here once again with another review. This time I am going over a new piece I got just a couple of days ago. This is the M41 field pack used by the Army and Marines in World War II and used primarily by the Marines in Vietnam. And if you'll also notice, I have the M45 pack over here for comparison. First off, we'll start with the M41. Here at the top, it is essentially the same. Got your top loop for your shelter half. The uh, attachment tab for your bayonet or machete. And down here are supposed to be two other cargo straps, which I have removed. Or, well, somebody did. I removed the one that was still left with it. And the main difference with this one than all the other packs, it is just one big pouch. There's no flap or anything. You undo the straps, and it just opens up into a big cloth throat. There's no... Um, rubber liner in there to keep things waterproof uh there's no instruction sheet it's just one big cloth back turn it over here and get a look at the back it's got two shoulder straps you can attach it down at the bottom through these two loops here so that you can wear it alone or if you feel like it, you can actually put two general purpose hooks from your um, M45 suspenders or just any set of suspenders with clips like that. Clip it to your belt and then use this little tab or strap here. Hook it in the middle of your belt and you no longer need suspenders. Or you can do this. Loop it through on the bottom, and you can have just a regular backpack. And then down here, with the full system, would be a knapsack with two loops on each side to attach it, but this one only has one. And if you noticed, I have the M36 E-Tool cover with E-Tool in it. Attaches with this tab here. Just like all the others. And then under that is my poncho. Because if you look up pictures on Google, most of them did that just to get to it a lot easier. Or you could roll it up on the bottom, on the top, the sides. Your preference. And as I said, I've got the M45 here for comparison. The M45 is slightly bigger. Only slightly and is practically the exact same only it's got the just the top flap with the rubber th throat in it with the instruction sheet this one i prefer because it's a lot easier the uh, rubber throat in the m45 gets a little annoying trying to pull it in and out and rolling it back up when you're not pushing it back in and yes sadly they both use the shovel cup co shovel cover because my other one is on my Arvin Ruck and I don't feel like taking it off. It is a pain. And also, I modified the M45 pack slightly. I have found out you can wear the M45 pack as a standalone by doing practically the same thing as the M41. You can slide your front suspender straps through the bottom and clip them onto those loops and just tuck your rear straps under over it doesn't really matter you can just tuck them up or just clip them to your belt for better stability all right so though that is my new m41 pack i will be putting it together with one of my marine loadouts that way I can have two separate characters, my Rifleman slash, or no, yeah, Rifleman slash Officer, and then my Medic. 
Uh, so, and hopefully coming up, I will have another pair of M45 suspenders that don't have this support strap cut off. I had to do that. I'll get into that when I get the next pair of Y. But that's all for today, folks. Remember to like, subscribe, comment if you'd like. And as always, have a nice day, YouTube.